It's the last day of August here in Northwest Ohio, and that means it's the first night of MAC Volleyball for the 2023 season. We have two teams here tonight that will be at or near the top cup of the conference by the time the season comes to an end. The St. Henry Redskins are here to play the Coldwater Cavaliers on WOSN. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to be play by play alongside Miles Holiday. Miles, we got a big crowd. We got two good teams. This should be a great night. No, two terrific programs. Big match feeling here tonight. And Mark, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? St. Henry will come in at three and one. That loss this year, that came at the Coldwater Invitational. They lost in two sets, 25-18, 29-27. They are three and one on the season. St. Henry, uh, Coldwater will come in. They are six and zero, oh, and two of those miles have gone five sets. So they've been challenged this year with some good programs. You know, when you look at their schedule, the strength of schedule, St. Henry, of course, Shawnee, Bell Fountain, Crestview. Everybody knows how good they are, and then coming back again with St. Henry, battle tested and an impressive six and zero. Oh. Of course, we know that when you play MAC volleyball, you've got nine conference matchups. You're going to be challenged in every one of them, and then opening up the season with a match of this magnitude, big deal here tonight in cold water and both schools represented extremely well yeah st henry has traveled this is going to be an electric atmosphere here tonight of course it's an eight mile trip up the highway here so it's not like we're, you know we've gone across country but uh, as as usual in uh, this part of the state uh, midwest athletic conference volleyball shelby county and so on volleyball draws very well here this evening our officiating crew tonight uh, on the floor, our R2 is Michael Luff, and on the stands right, our R1 is Sterling Kai Maimoku. Did I say that right? Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Miles from, our, uh, from Hawaii at one point in his uh, career showed me how to pronounce Hawaiian <laughs> names, but two really good officials we have here this evening for this one. Well, you're, you could go there, and now you could... You could broadcast uh, sports there with all the knowledge you know how to say their names. That, did it's I fantastic. not hear at one point Al Michaels say he did Hawaii Islanders baseball and that helped him tremendously. Yeah, you always have great weather, so yeah. you might as well enjoy it. And learning how to pronounce names and so on. Well, we've got some players on each team who were all conference players a year ago um, for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Morgan Blassingame was a second-team all-conference player, uh, as was Madison Wendell, two of their big hitters on this particular team. A first-team all-conference player a year ago, Chloe Gells, for uh, the, the St. Henry Redskins. Second team would have been Lydia Whirling, their setter, and uh, Rhea Busher, their libero, and also a first-team all-conference player for a cold water year ago, Spencer Etzler, who is 5'8", a junior, and it seems like she's been playing for mom here since, uh, <laughs> since, since the turn of the century, but uh, a very talented young lady, still just uh, a sophomore. So we're ready to play volleyball here on Midwest Athletic Conference opening night from Coldwater. Yeah, you always wonder, right, when you have a player-coach relationship yep. at the house, you know, the player at some point in time says, Mom, you're, you're not my coach right now. You're my mom in the house. Can we not talk about volleyball? And, of course, for, for Coach Etzler, her husband Mike is her assistant coach, and her son, uh, also a very talented player, a little bit younger than, uh, than Spencer is, and so it's a volleyball household. St. Henry will serve first. That means it'll be Lauren Tiemann. He does junior, and she will step back to serve. St. Henry in the red, black uniforms this evening. Her libero wears black. That is Rhea Busher. Coldwater in the orange and black. There, libero is Rhea Schroyer. She wears number one, and she is in the white jersey. And first serve goes into the net, so Coldwater scores first. Oh, uh, you wonder if there. nerves are part of that, right? The, you, both teams really geeked up on this one. Get that adrenaline going. Here's Morgan Blassing game to serve. She hits it to the libero busher. Here's the quick set. And a put away right away by Ellie Fullenkamp. Oh, how about that? A good first pass leads to a great set. What do you do with a great set? You put it on the floor. Evens things up at one. Service again. And that one goes long. Service from Morgan Bomber. So a couple of service errors early. It's 2-1 Cavs. This will be Spencer Etzler to serve. Kind of uncharacteristic, really, for St. Henry. 87% success rate from the service line. Whirling sets, and the big hit that time in the front row. That was Gels, the first team all-conference player. Whirling will set again. And now Spencer Etzler will set. And trying to go cross-court with it was Mia Niekamp, and she's unable to do so. Now Niekamp tried to go cross-court, played a little cut because the double wall in front of her it's a shame because it really negates a great dig by Schroyer in the back row. Here's Rhea Busher to serve the libero. That spare ball comes across court. And 
Michael Luff will put it out of play. Here's the left-handed Busher. Tipped across by the setter, Mia Kanapke. That ball is hit across by Gels. This will be Kira Kanapke. And double block of the net. Kanapke again. And she's going to get a point. Kira, sophomore 5-9. Now how about the court coverage early in this matchup by Coldwater? Fantastic work keeping that ball up in the air. And we were talking off camera. That ball's not going to find a lot of wood here tonight. It's going to be tough to get points. Here's Kira Kanapke. Serve almost an ace. And Gels. You need a point, you go to Chloe Gels. Now the team leader in, in kills with 57 coming in tonight. You cannot go wrong by setting her up. Look at the explosion that she carries in her feet. She can rise and fire. Lydia Whirling will now serve, and then she will be the setter from the back row. Off the net. That ball's banged by Wendell. Kept alive. And then trying to score a point with it, hitting it in the net. So unsuccessfully was Molly Wendell. Yeah, always tough when you're, it's coming from behind and you're trying to track it and then get it across. Sometimes you just got to take a little bit off of it and make sure it goes over. Tried to play the cut, couldn't get it done. Abby Schwederman plays back row, replacing Madison Wendell in that rotation. Gels. Blocked again after that, and just a tip to the open area. What a nice play that time by Morgan Blasting Game. You know, Blasting Game using her 5'11 length to get the point right there, and it has been a war at the net early yeah. in this match. Both teams bringing it. First time either team has been able to score off a of service. Whirling sets. Tip to an open area, but missing that particular tip to Lauren Tiemann. 6 3 now, Cavs. You know, the intimidation factor of the double block yeah. in front of you. Try was, to cut around it, just didn't a, get enough. 11, Carly Busher, not 10, Lauren Tiemann. I would ban ponytails if I were. <laughs> <laughs> had that opportunity. And serve goes long, so it goes back over to St. Henry. Uh oh, what great communication by the ladies of St. Henry. Letting them know that's going to go long. Comes Wendell back in the game, so Sweeterman just serves her. Then Wendell will play in the back row. Gels. <laughs> And her serve goes long, third service there. There are a lot of teams down here, Miles talked about risk reward with their serve. You know, they serve hard and try to score points off of it. But uh, Mia Kanapke, the setter, will now serve. Well, I like the idea, though. Make it a yep. tough situation, but you got to execute it. You know, move that back row, throw off Set. that offense. Oh, a big hit, short hit, right out of the center. Morgan blasting game, 8-4, got him doubled up. Mm. You like playing darts? Well, good. You can be the dartboard. Blasting game, absolutely sensational. Like that quick set out of the middle. And that one goes long, so service there this time for the Cavaliers. Makes it 8-5. That's Busher that elects to let it go long. Smart decision. Ellie Fullenkamp will enter. And she replaced the Carly Busher. You know, Mark, you commented how quick that set was. If you're struggling at the net, your opponent is sending it right back at you. Our Go quick so they can't get in front of you. Our first ace today goes to Olivia Gass. Makes it 8-6. Sophomore for Trisha Rosenbeck's team. Two veteran coaches here, as you find throughout the MAC on most nights. And got it right on the back line. Got it to dive, and she picks up an ace. Boy, that just dropped out of nowhere. It sure did. It looked like it was going to go long by a mile, and then all of a sudden, like a split-finger fastball, just kind of drops. Uh, wind from the air conditioning. <laughs> Pushed it down. Another nasty serve. Yes, absolutely. That's Etzler. Here's the set out of the center. And Fallen comes to get another chance. Ellie, two hands at that time. Here's Etzler again. And... Enough power to knock it through the blocker, and Spencer Epsler has a point. Puts the Cavs up 9-7. Yes, third on the team with 66, 62 kills, rather. I like it. Keep setting her up. First time was a good look. Go back at her. 
Carly Busher entered, and she was replaced by the libero, Rhea Busher. Serve will be by Olivia Braring. Almost an ace. Good play in the back row by Busher. And Busher's been absolutely fantastic early in this match. And a play right at the net, waiting for the ball to get in above the plane of the net. Pushing it straight down was Molly Wendell. Yeah, free ball. Might as well take advantage. Anytime you get free pizza, eat it up. I, I like the girls who have the discipline to wait till the ball gets into the plane of the net rather than reaching over, which would be a violation. Yeah, Good it, job that time by her. Very tough, and then have the wherewithal not to get in the net as well. Here's Teeman. Again, same type of play, this time by Ellie Follenkamp, ties it at nine. Well, it's better than one free pizza, two free pizzas. <laughs> hey, you know, I miss dinner. Let's, let's find a different uh, <laughs> analogy here if we can. Here's Teeman again. Lauren will serve. That one's pop long, but fortunately, they were getting back into play that time by more blasting game. It pushed over. It's going to be free ball over by Gels. And Blasting Game, though, no, puts that one away. How about Morgan Blasting Game with a big kill and then looks at her teammates like, all right, let's go. Morgan was a second team all-conference player in the MAC as a sophomore a year ago, and she gets to serve. Love her confidence. Good set. Good kill that time to put away by Morgan Bomber. Well, you, to 10. you better be alert at all times in this match or else you're going to get dotted. That one was an absolute laser. Serve hit long. And it will be 11-10, Coldwater. Neither team has scored more than three consecutive points in the match. A fourth service error already for St. Henry. Very costly. And Soretzer will get the first ace of the evening for the Coldwater Cavaliers. She only had one coming into tonight. I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong place. She had 25 coming into the, tonight to lead this team in and their 17 sets they played. Gells will get a hit. Terry Gells showing you why she was first team all Mac a year ago. I like the response by Gells, right? She shanks one off the yep. serve a moment ago. A lot of uh, players would kind of have the boo-boo face after that. Not Gells. She responds in a big way. Here's Rhea Busher to serve. She has three aces on the season as the libero leaves the team with 59 digs, and the left-hander puts it across. There's a set. Wendell goes up to hit. Good save in the back row. Oh, 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 oh. And four hits as Gallus couldn't get it over. Uh, you got to like Coldwater in the middle. That's Wendell. 16 blocks coming into the night. She says, I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to make St. Henry pay for it. Madison Wendell headed to Central Michigan University next year. Here's the serve by Kira Nap Panapke, and she's going to get an ace and hits the net and falls over. Yeah, such a tough play. You have yourself in position anticipating where it's going to go. Hits that top tape and then rolls over. 14-11, three-point lead. Cavs' biggest lead was by four when it was 8-4. Here's Gels. So strong in the middle, 14-12. Well, if you have the hot hand, keep feeding it, right? Yes, absolutely. Here comes Molly Wendell back in the game. And back to serve will be Lydia Wehrling. A real, yeah. really big serve right here in this first set. 115 assists on the season in just four sets that they played so far. Not four sets, ten sets. There's a hit. That point will score cold water. Put down by Olivia Broering. I love it. The block is coming from the middle. It's caused them a lot of problems early in this match. What do you do? Go around it, go line. Smart move by Coldwater. Yeah, Abigail Schwederman steps in off the bench to serve. And it a little bit long. It's 15-13. Gels to serve. He has four aces on the season. Fifth one, Miles. Is that correct? Yeah, fifth, fifth service error. Fifth service yeah. error. If they lose this set, they're going to lament the fact. Mm. 
Uh, Dave gave away free points. Missed the sideline. She was going first. Mia Kanapke. Good serve for Mia. Whirling pops it up in the air, and then it's blocked at the net. And the point's going to go to the Cavaliers, number nine, and that was Olivia Boring. And that's a shame for St. Henry because Whirling absolutely worked extremely hard to get that one back up in the air. Here's our first time out. The Charles River scoreboard says Coldwater 17, St. Henry 13. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater, the first time out taken by Trisha Rosenbach. Her team trails by four at 17 to 13. Watch China Miles Holiday here in front of me. You see a lot of volleyball up north. Who's we really did. good up that way? Uh, keep an eye on Archbold. They're going to okay. get better. Very young team, and they've got one of the best players uh, in Keeley Culler. She is a SEC, ACC recruit, mm. and she just jumps out of the gym, a, a tremendous player. Coming out of the timeout, Mia Kanapke's serve goes long, so the timeout proved to break some momentum there at 17-14. And in the serve will be Olivia Gass. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, right? You come out of a timeout, mm. give up a free point. Olivia has a couple of aces in the 14 points that her team has scored here in the opening set. Set up. And what a great job of finding the open area by Morgan Blassengame. Yeah, Blassengame, she'll correct a lot of errors, won't she? she Not sure a does. great set, but her ability to foresee the whole court that time just cuts around it. Olivia Broering to serve. Junior, 5-10. And well, Gels has to play that whirling sets. Blassengame sets that one. Ooh. Big hit. Wow, the extra got into all of that one. 19-14. I know she didn't get it back up in a workable yeah. spot, but how about the courage of Busher just yeah. to get in front of that one? Well, it's not homecoming week. Homecoming week, you're not blocking something like that because you don't <laughs> want your face looking bad on the picture. No Marsha Brady moment. <laughs> Big hit. That point goes to Ellie, Ellie Fullenkamp, six-foot junior. 19-15. Nobody has scored more than three points in consecutively in this match. And they're both these teams so impressive with the height that they can yeah. put on that front line. There's team in the serve. Poland Camp, another one of those tall players for St. Henry at six foot. 25 kills coming in. Got another one there. Hits the ball to Schroyer. Etzler got it blocked, but got blocked out of bounds. And Spencer Etzler has been very efficient early in this match. Got to be fun to, to be the setter, the point guard of this team. So many big hitters you can set up. There's passing game to serve. Morgan serve, goes to Busher. And hit off the blocker for a point by Morgan Bomber. Well, you can be cute and go around, tip it over top, but sometimes you just have to go through to block. Let's okay. see Henry, big time. So, Vic Whirling just set an assist record for her school. The senior, second team all conference, and, and this is what sportsmanship is all about, Miles. It sure is. Um, you got both schools, the Coldwater and St. Henry, appreciating what she's done. You see the players kind of slapping hands there. Congratulations to her. And quite honestly, I have my headset on. We'll try to figure out what the exact uh, things she accomplished there. We'll get a break here in a moment. A great job by the people yeah. here at Coldwater standing up as well and recognizing it. Yes, absolutely. That ball's dumped over by the, by the setter. Here's Etzler. She goes off a blocker. She has another point. She has shown some uh, remarkable strength, I think, here, Miles, in the opening set. She had 62 kills in 17 sets before tonight, but she's hit the ball through the blocker as well this evening. Now, they don't want to forget your first team returning all-MAC yeah, player. Correct. Keep fit, filling her up. Getting a lot of work done on that left-hand side. She serves as Nikki Etzler. And she's going to get an ace. Nick, uh, Spencer Etzler, excuse me. Mom's the coach, not the player. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to get a second timeout at 22-16. I'm going to take a break two miles to see if we can find out what that uh, award was that Whirling just uh, accomplished. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. 
Camera guy and all-around good guy Jacob O'Neill was doing the research for us. That was Lydia Whirling's 1,000th assist of her career. It's pretty good there, Miles. Yeah, what a, what a special moment, yeah, right? how about that? And to do so on Mac Knight and get uh, rewarded in such a way. And this is just match number five for them for the season. She's got a whole bunch more to play yet this season. Here's Etzler serve again with a six-point lead. There's Whirling set. Well, she just... You know what? If you set the ball to Chloe Gells, you're going to get a whole bunch of assists on the season. But again, it starts how? With Busher doing the work yeah. on the first first hit, gets it in a workable spot. That was a tough serve. She went down on the floor to get it. First pass is so important. Here's Busher to serve. Rhea, the left-handed. Hits it to her counterpart, Schroyer. Wendell hits and hit it long. 22-18. We just got a little bit too far behind that one. Couldn't get it on the downward trajectory. And we're going to have another timeout. Yeah, this time, Coldwater will take a timeout. While we got that opportunity, I'm going to remind you that our scoreboard today is sponsored by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They are hiring, and you can visit job.criver.com to apply today. Yeah, you know, that lead was six a minute ago, a moment ago. It's four now. Coach says, I got timeouts. This is a good time to use one. Well, Nikki Outsler, she knows when to call our timeouts, right? Coach of the year, yep. co-coach of the year in the MAC a year ago. She definitely knows what she's doing. Both coaches, long-term head women of their programs. Yep. And you just watch them. The fundamentals that both programs exhibit, second to none. Well, over all the years, Coldwater has won three MAC championships. The last one was in 2022 when they... Tied with New Bremen. St. Henry, 29 MAC championships. Uh, that's one of those numbers where you, you have to, when you first see it, you have to look at it again, right? It kind of catches yep. you by surprise. 29. Very 2019, impressive. they tied with New Bremen. That's their last one. I don't think that ball was going to get over on the hit. So the ball falls on the side of the Coldwater Cavaliers making point St. Henry. Cuts the lead to three at 22-19 as Busher serves again. St. Henry doing a great job of anticipation at the net. And you see it there again, but it's going to go off of them. Wendell's block was hit out of bounds at 23-19. Didn't get those hands pointed back toward the center of the court to okay. serve. Huge point for St. Henry. They have to get it here to stay in this. Kanapke serve. Whirling sets. Big hit out of the middle. I believe that was Carly Busher. Is that correct? Yeah, Carly yeah. Busher had the, the big block a moment ago, fouls it up. Just too easy in the middle. A one, two, and a huge three on the kill. Whirling. Seven aces on the season for her. Wendell hits it through the blocker and. Opening set, just a point away for Coldwater Cavaliers as their libero, Rachel Schroyer, goes back to serve. Nope, she does not go back to serve. Just hands the ball to Abigail Sweeterman. Set point, opening set tonight. And hit it long on set point. 24-21. Now doors open yep. just a crack for St. Henry. Coldwater had an opportunity to slam it to get this first set. Here's Chloe Gells to serve. Four aces for her on the season. Here's the set. Just dumped over that time by the center, Kanapke. She sets again. This time, Metzler has to just two-hand it over. Tip. There's your center trying to get a point for herself. Mia Kanapke, and she does. Mia Kanaki had 26 kills from her center position. She got 27 for the season right there. Her team wins the opening set, 25-21. Set two coming up. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Coldwater High School, the opening set goes to the Cavaliers, 25-21 over the St. Henry Redskins. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville, and we are pleased to announce the pricing of the WSN streaming service. It is now only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. 
Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. And also available on Roku and Apple TV. Only $8. Eight bucks, my man. I oh, found wow. that out last Friday night at the telecast. I'm going, whoa, guess what I'm getting in September. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. That really $8. Is. Miles in an opening set. Nobody scored more than three consecutive points. Coldwater comes up with a four-point win. Well, I always like watching the huddles between uh, sets. Uh -huh. And it, you look at both coaches. It, they can communicate extremely effectively. Both uh, both coaches just working extremely hard. And you know you have your team's attention when you got great positive eye contact. Both these teams have that. Congratulate to Lydia Whirling. She had her 1,000th assist as a St. Henry Redskin in the opening set. She had 115 in the, the season in 10 sets. So she's averaging 11 and a half assists per set uh, through their first four matches. And congratulations to her. And uh, a lot of season of volleyball left to play as well. Now, both teams, fantastic setters, right? You, they do. It is tough yep. to win in volleyball if you don't have that person that can put it where you want it. Both teams have that person. Here's Morgan Blast the game to open up set two with a serve. Willing sets that time. Ball was hit by Ellie Follenkamp. This set will go to Spencer Etzler. There's Busher again. This kill will go by Morgan Bomber. That's played. Here's Etzler again. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Better check Rhea Busher. Etzler just tips it. Busher gets it again. Oh, Busher oh, is my so goodness. tough. Gels from the back row hit that one. This is going to be Etzler again, and she clobbered it out of bounds. Maria Busher. Oh, my. Emphatically pumps her fist to her teammates. I thought we were going to have to check on her with a standing oh my eight goodness. count. She what? is tough. Uh, Miles, the, the people who listen to our WSN telecast know that I am always impressed by libero play. We've got two really good ones tonight, but what we just saw from Rhea Busher, if she was second team all conference last year, Goodness, this year. Mm. Here's Etzler, just tips the ball to the open area, but it's played on the far side by Tiemann. That ball's hit across by Bomber. Here's Wendell out of the middle, and she finds the back line for a point. I just caught the back part of the black line. Yeah. That was a tough call. Barely got it, but got just enough to get the call. Any part of the ball hits any part of the line, and it's, a, it's in. Yeah, Mark, you're talking about Busher, but... If you just watch her on every single point, she almost gets her 10,000 steps in on every single serve. She is constantly in motion. Ball's banged to the back row by the center, by Maya Kanapke, 2-1 Cavaliers. We talked about that uh, on our telecast that we did last weekend. I'd like to be able to put a Fitbit on yeah. setters and liberos. A absolutely. I, I know the, the rule book says no jewelry below your neck. I, I'm just curious how far they run setters and liberos in the course of the match. Here's Etzler again. Well, let's just say they run farther than us. <laughs> That's pretty easy to do. <laughs> Clay Gells from behind the 10-foot line missed at that time. It's 3-1 Cavaliers. One of the That's few the errors serving. tonight by Gell. She's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Back set. <laughs> Stayed in. Nope, went out of bounds. Colin Camp couldn't put it away and for the first time in the match the team has scored four consecutive points that's a shame for St. Henry negates an unbelievable back set by Whirling Falls blocked on the kill by Bomber but it fell on the cold water side breaks the string makes it 4-2 now Whirling makes that look easy going away from the net a pass set on the net in perfect position here's Bomber to serve Morgan's a 5'6 sophomore. Etzler just rolls it over. Whirling tries to dump it over. Her counterpart setter, Nap Knappy, does the same thing. That ball was hit by Knappy. This is Mia Knappy hit that one. And that's going to be a point in the middle. So Coldwater outlasts a very lengthy rally that time to take a 5-2 lead. Now well, it looks like during the timeout between sets, both coaches, point of emphasis. See where the defense is at. Try to get it where they're not quickly. Don't have to go one, two, three each time. Gell's back in the front row, but Etzler was able to play that one. This one's going to be hit by Broering. 
And Gels again. That's blocked with a double block. Set. And Mia Kanapke hits it wide. 5-3. If you're St. Henry, though, you have to start to be a little bit worried. Coldwater starting to do a much better job defensively at the net. Another block by Maddie Wendell. Here's Rhea Busher. Just a junior to serve this one. And trying to go cross court was Madison Wendell. That one does not succeed. It's a 5 4. Tough to go angle when you're in the middle of the floor. Just don't have the territory to get it done. Madison's mom before we started the day. She's a good play in the back row. This ball's going to be hit by Broering. Busher mm. makes another play. And Gels hits it into two blockers. Gels again. This time she tries to just shove it to the right spot. Wendell hits it off a blocker and scores. It's 6-4. Yeah, I liked how quick that was by Coldwater. Quick set to get the point. Doesn't allow St. Henry to recover in time. So talk to Madison Wendell's mom earlier. Mm -hmm. She says survived a subpar education from Bath High School. <laughs> Wonderful lady and a really good student when she was in the building. Here's Gels. And missed the end line. It's 7-4 Cavaliers. Uh, Senate Henry has to get Gels going forward again. She's at her best when she's attacking the net instead of going straight up. That time the set was behind her just too much. Schwederman. Good serve from her. Uh, what a big hit out of the center. That was... Uh, Carly Busher hit that one, 7-5. Just a sophomore. Got to like the future for St. Henry with her patrol in the middle. Uh, other than Gels it's a, and, and Whirling, it's a pretty young team that uh, St. Henry has here in terms of grade, not necessarily an experience. And Apke sets, and open area found by Morgan Blassingame. Do you get the feeling that Morgan Blassingame you ask her where she wants it, and she just says anywhere, right? Just, yeah, yeah, just get it in the air. I'll be able to handle it. That time off the net, a little bit behind her, she's able to still take advantage of it. Mia Knapke's to serve. And that's it long. Anybody touch it? St. Henry wants a call. It's not there. It goes out of bounds. 9-5. St. Henry snacking on a little bit of danger here. Yep. Four of the last five points have gone cold water's way. Whirling sets. Gels hits, and good diving attempt by Rachel Schroyer, but the point's going to go to Chloe Gels. I uh, love the little wheel action outside, fake the middle, get the defense to commit on it, opens it up the outside. Good answer by St. Henry. Here's Chloe Gels. Last game out of the middle. Whirling will set again. That ball's blocked. <laughs> Sees that confidence yeah. of blasting game. Gets the block, turns around, and makes contact with the eyes of her teammates, letting them know this is ours. 5'11 junior went up and got that one. She's a junior. The two Kanapkis are sophomores. Spencer Etzler is a junior. So they've got a lot of young, talented players on their program as well. And here's a hit. That's going to be a point. That will go to Molly Wendell. Always come alive a bit here in this set. It's 10-7. And that allows Olivia Gast to serve. She has the only two aces in the match so far for the St. Henry Redskins. No, much better job this second set of not giving up free points with the six service errors they had in set one. Blasting game hits it through a blocker, and she scores. It's 11-7 on the... Charles River scoreboard. And back to serve is Morgan Blasting Game. One of those stat stuffers, 66 kills, 10 aces, 9 assists, and 51 digs in the opening part of the season. The first six matches for the Cavaliers. That in. Ooh, well, tough call. And our official is going to change it. Said the call was out. 
the R1 and the R2 both have the power to overturn an line judge's call. You try not to do it very often. Oh, I think the, it's the right call. I think it was the right call from our angle. That's one. It's right at your feet. As a line judge, it's hard to see sometimes. So good, good job by our officiating crew. Now, people don't know how tough it is to be a line oh. judge. And how valuable they are. There's a block as Wendell scores. It is 12-7. And it's been kind of gradual, 13-7, excuse me. It's been kind of gradual, but you can see Coldwater starting to take uh, over here. It's 13-7 Cavs. We're back in a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Mark Schein and Miles Holiday. It's 13-7 miles. The Cavs have scored. Uh, it was 7-5 at one point, so they've scored in the last six points or so out of the last uh, two for St. Henry, and they're kind of on a roll a little bit. Trisha, Henry, Trisha Rosenbach from St. Henry kicks timeout. And missing the back line was blasting game on the serve. That's a couple times that's helped break the... The concentration, perhaps, in the server by timeout and get a score. Well, what do you do when you, your things are going well? There's a timeout. You tend to relax, right, uh -huh. a little bit? That's the second time that yeah, out of a timeout, serve goes long. There's team in to serve. I, I don't think there's a sport where momentum plays more oh. of a role than volleyball. Yeah, great call by you. Yeah. Big Mo's a big thing. Set. Wendell has to wait on it and then hits it to Gels. This will be Bomber. Etzler. And she goes off a busher, and somebody was in the net. Looks like it was number five, Ellie Fullencamp. Really good action. Kind of fooled St. Henry as Madison yeah. Wendell was calling for it. Defense committed to her, go outside to Etzler. Really, if you're a setter, no bad choice there. Well, and Etzler goes, I had a point, and she was in the net. I didn't get a kill. <laughs> but she gets to serve with her team up six. That point comes back to Fullencamp. Good job by Ellie. If you get a pretty good pass up to Whirling, she's going to make she's it work, right? Really good, isn't he? Pretty good pass. That's kind of what happens when you play Mac volleyball. These two teams are very skillful. This is Morgan Bomber to serve. And Morgan's serve goes long. It's 15-9. When you're trailing on the scoreboard, you cannot give up three points. And that's an easy one. Here's Kara Kanapke. 5'9", sophomore. She has an ace this evening. Whirling set. Chloe Gells gets it through two blockers, and Chloe Gells gets a point. Now, Whirling just makes everything look easy. She's going backwards there. Looks like the only thing she can do is set it in the middle, but throws it outside, get Gells the kill. An absolute magician in the middle of the floor for St. Henry. Here's Busher. The set's going to go to Broering, and Broering hit it long. All right, 15-11 now. Get some momentum. If you're St. Henry, you have Busher serving with that nasty left hand. 15-12, now you can start thinking. Wendell has to set this one, and Esther tips it over. And out of the middle, boom, big hit out of the middle that time. Was that? Yes, it was. Uh, Carly Busher. 15-12. Here come the Redskins. And as Busher served, that really led to that point. And hit off a blocker that time by Wendell to break the spring. That had been three consecutive points for St. Henry. That goes to 16-12. Wendell will get to sit while Abby Sweeterman serves in her place, and then she'll come back in and place Abigail Sweeterman. Here's Whirling. And Gels tips it to an open area. And then Kanapke hits. Good anticipation yeah. by Etzler on that one. You can see trying to find open spots rather than just go power. Blaster game hits it into a blocker. Here's Whirling to set again. And Gels set. Blasting game tips to the open air. This is a great point we got going right yeah. here. How about this rally? Both teams working hard. Yeah. 
Kanapke tries to push it, but Busher's there. Gels hits. Set again, and bang it out of the middle. Point goes to Morgan Blast again. That was the longest point of the snatch tonight. Now you wonder if mentally that is fatiguing for St. Henry. Such a long point would have been huge. Get him back into a working distance, but Coldwater gets it. And it seems like anytime you go with blasting game, good things happen. It is 17-12 on the Charles River scoreboard. Gels has to back a bit, still powers it through the two blockers to make it 17-13. At one point, St. Henry led 4-2. They led 7-5, 9-6, 10-7, 13-8. And then it started to get away from them a bit. It was 14-9 at one point, And then Coldwater turned it on, makes it 18-13. You always hear volleyball coaches talking about how important communication is. Yep. Well, great call. And it up, up front, turn around, say, let it go, let it go. It's going to be a point for us. That's what those young ladies on the bench are helping out with, too. Don't just be a spectator, be a helper. This hit's going to be made by Molly Wendell. And now it is 19-13, six-point lead. And it kind of flubbed off her hand. Yep. Hit it on the downward side of her jump. Mia Kanapke again. And her goes long as Rhea Busher was quick to note. Didn't want her teammates to stay away from it. 19-14. Gels goes to the back row to serve. Etzler tips. Whirling has to play that. Busher sets properly. Two hands in front and underhand from in front of the. Oops, that's going to be double contact. Yep. That's the first one we've had tonight. I, I think that's the first misplayed ball, either a prolonged contact or a double hit of the evening. Yeah, kind of a catch yeah. and throw situation. Yep. Good call by the officials. So the sh short in the net is 2015, but I think that, that attests the, the skill of the volleyball players we're seeing this evening. You have one ball handling error, and we're almost through set two. To serve will be Olivia Broering. Olivia is a junior at 5'10. That's an overpass right there. One of the few ball handling mistakes for the Cavaliers this evening. It's 2016. Now, thankfully for St. Henry, Carly Busher, athletic enough to handle it, just turned the palm a little bit, got it over for an easy point. Sure, you had to play that one. That's from behind a 10 foot line. This is set. Fallen camp hits. You have to free ball it over. How about Wendell laying out to get that one? Yeah, and how about Ellie Fallenkamp putting it away at 2017? St. Henry has used one timeout in this set. Coldwater has yet to call a timeout. Four of the last five points have gone the way of the Redskins. And St. Henry gets the point right here. You're going to hear everybody in red start to get a little bit louder. Blasting game does exactly that. She blasts the ball to the back part of the court and gets a point. Yeah, she's been absolutely sensational tonight yeah. for Coldwater. The junior, second team all Mac as a sophomore. She will serve. She has 10 aces on the season. Got that one to dive. And off the blocker, that will be a point for Morgan Bomber. 21-18. And the bomber been hot here of late for St. Mm -hmm. Henry. When you have a hot hand, keep feeding it, right? Absolutely. 22-17 on the Charles River and Spencerville scoreboard. And a long serve, 22-18. Now, one of the problems of that first set was service errors mm -hmm. kind of creeping up here in the second set for St. Henry. Spencer Etzler will serve. And makes a diving play right there. A good set. Wendell hit it over. 
Whirling will set again. Fallenkamp finds the middle of the floor. This is where St. Henry's been at their best when they're able to keep the ball in the middle of the floor. They've been dominant at times. They need to string some things together here. They can't just trade points or the second set will get away from them also. <laughs> you kind of eventually run out of time, don't yes, you? That's correct. Nasty serve. It was. Wendell. Played in the back row by Bomber. This will be Gels. How about Kanap? He played it out of the net and he's playing it cleanly out of the net. Falling camp again. Gels has to save it. Blocked by Wendell. Gels again. Gels hits it. Esther can't control it. Big point Redskins. They got the down to two. And everybody in red starting yep. to rise they on that do. big point. Looks like a timeout for Coldwater. That it is. Coach Etzler with the lead down to two takes her first timeout in set number two. Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio, is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. High school football coming up on Friday night. Your game will air on Saturday night. You are at? Uh, Lipsick and yep. uh, Pandora Gilboa coming in. 2-0 Lipsick and Pandora Gilboa 1-1. One one. Had that huge win in week one over top of Columbus Grove. Yep. Both teams can score some points. Uh, it should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. And that's one of those uh, kind of a rivalry type game. Uh, both out of the Putnam County League and other sports. <laughs> and... Uh, near enough together got some rival reaction that'll be a good one yeah there, there, there's a lot of uh, disagreements in putnam county right uh, they like yeah. to settle them on the football field on the football field and then they all shake hands afterwards yep. and they're friends that's one of the things i like about that community and many of the small communities that we have across the northwest and west central ohio but right now st henry has cut Coldwater's lead which at one point was 19 to 13 to 22-20, and they are serving with Morgan Bomber to serve. Well, uh, it has to be tipped over that time by Kanapke. Here's Gels, and Gels hit it out of bounds. Timeout works, 23-20. Now, Whirling worked extremely hard just to get Gels an opportunity there. And I think we're going to have another yeah, timeout. Now out. we're going to get a St. Henry at timeout. There is no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com and click donate. Well, it's a three-point lead. So Henry has climbed back to within two at 22-20, and then the last point went the way of the Coldwater Cavaliers. That's the final timeout by the Redskins in set two. Well, if you're going to give your best effort ever, it's got to be on this point right here if you're St. Henry, right? It's got to get to 23-21. I think it's 24-20. Awfully tough ask from there. Talked about this program. St. Henry has been in the state tournament 15 times, and they won seven championships. The last one in 2011. Coldwater's been a state twice. They were second in 2017. And here comes Kier Kanapke to serve. And it stayed in. Set two at set point. Oh, the serve of Napke, just absolutely tough. Put Busher in a really tough spot. I think, Mark, you have to play that this late in the set. Here's the set. This will be Gell's. To a blocker. Flashing game goes and gets it. Knapke sets. Wendell tips. Busher sets. So Henry fighting to keep alive in the set. Gells hits it. Wendell tips it to the back row. Fullenkamp finds a spot. Well, when St. Henry has been able to keep their offense in the middle of the floor, they've been almost unstoppable. Needed a point to stay alive. They have it. That they did as Rhea Busher will serve. Her team trails by three. Dumped over by Kanapke. Tipped. This will be Wendell. Busher sets again. Gels hits. Etzler gets to that one. Wendell hits it into two blockers. Kanapke finds an open spot on the floor. 
And the Coldwater can thank Etzler because her core anticipation was second to none on that one. And Mia Kanapke, typically the center at that time, a hitter puts it away. Both sets have gone the way of the Cavaliers. Both have been 25-21. Set three coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Mark Sean and Miles Holiday back at Coldwater. The Cavaliers are taking the first two sets. Uh, Miles counting the time they played the Crestview Open Invitational at the beginning of the year. Crestview is now, or, excuse me, Coldwater is now taking four consecutive sets from St. Henry. A little bit of mental games going on now, perhaps. Yeah, all coaches have a little bit of salesman in them, right? You have to. Well, Trisha Rosenbeck, she better get her best sales pitch right now. Check the temperature of her team. Where are you at mentally after dropping four tough sets against Coldwater? Got to get this third set. You can't you can't win it without getting one first. So they got to have to win this third one. And if you're Coldwater and you're Nikki Etzler, what do you want? You want that killer mentality, don't you? You you yeah. want you want that thirst to go ahead and get the victory. Don't let up if you're the Coldwater Cavs. Although if you if you just look at the the two sets so far, only once in the match has a team scored four consecutive points. Coldwater went from 0-1 to 4-1 here in the second set. Other than that, it's been just tightly played. And it just, Coldwater's had just a couple extra points to win the match. At least they are up two sets to nothing right here. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app score so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Lauren Tiemans will serve first in set three. He gets it. His flashing game hits the end of the net. That'll be a four contact situation. So the first point will go to St. Henry. I think it's the first attack error for blasting game tonight. She really played well, hasn't she? She sure has. Been the difference between the two teams tonight. Good start for St. Henry. Yeah, here's team in to serve again. That's the out of the middle, tips it, but Pusher gets there. And then Follenkamp hits it, and as long as it doesn't touch the ceiling, that's a good play. And what do we got? Somebody's in the net. Uh, I believe it's whirling as she's backpedaling yep. to try and get that second ball up in the air. Just backpedaled and tough pass to her. Sometimes you can contort, sometimes you can't. Net got in the way. Last two game will serve. Here's the set, Follenkamp on the slide. Kanapke sets, Etzler hits, that's blocked. And a point that one will go to Kira Kanapke. And Coldwater so good at, at covering, even when there's a block that comes back to their side, they don't panic, they just dig it out and get going again. How many teams you get a block come right back at you and they fold, not Coldwater. That will be an ace. It's been a long time since we've had an ace. That one will go to Morgan Blasting Games. 3-1. And Morgan reminds me of one of those players that it doesn't matter what you're playing, tiddly winks, shooting hoops in the front yard. She wants to win, right? Yes. She just has that competitive fire. She left that serve a bit short. The Cavaliers on the fifth will play Wapak. Then they're back in. MAC action. They will go to New Knoxville on September 7th. We'll get St. Henry's schedule here in just a moment. We've got a busy one coming up. That's their hits. Falling camp went down awkwardly off an ankle. That point will go to Gels. Three, three, three is. Yeah. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, she looks like all right. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's a new play uh, that they put right. in. Right. Get some. Uh, Coach Rosenbeck says I like to have some moisture come off the floor. Well, we have a moment in St. Henry. They, on Saturday, they have a Galleon and Buckeye Central in a three-way thing. Then they have Marion Local on the 7th at Minster at Fort Laramie on the 14th and 16th. So busy schedule coming up for Coach Rosenbeck team. This is just their fifth match of the season tonight. It's the 7th for Coldwater. And hitting it out was Etzler shooting it down the sideline and missed. And Etzler thought she had it. You see the reaction. A really good yeah. call by the linesman there. 
See if St. Henry can take advantage of this now. Three consecutive points for the Redskins, and that one doesn't go across the net. They have not scored four consecutive points in the match, and actually Colwell has only done it once. Here it goes. Spencer Etzler to serve, 5'8 junior. She has two of the three aces this evening that have been scored by the Cavaliers. That one's not going to be an ace as it goes long. We're at that part of the match, Mark, where you know legs are a little bit tired uh, from the beginning of it, and you wonder if some of these jump servers, things might go a little bit long because they're not getting the elevation. Pusher serve. This will be Wendell, and played in the back row by Fulton Camp. And joust at the net, and Kira Kanapke, and Mia Kanapke wins that joust. It's five all. How about Mia Kanapke? She must love Renaissance fairs because she <laughs> wins that joust. Kind of wonder a little bit, too. The Cavaliers beat Crestview in a five-set match on Tuesday. They have any juice of the tank issues. Gels hits it long. What a great effort by Balmer, though, just to get that one back up. Gave St. Henry an opportunity. Working hard. Kara Kanapke serves. Diving play. Keep it alive. Here's a slide by Wendell. And not able to keep it alive. So for the second time in set three, Coldwater scored three consecutive points. And you brought up a point in the second set, how important that momentum is. It is. And a big yep. Mo now on the side of Coldwater. Good response by them. Kara Kanapke serves. And she hits the ball to Bomber. Here's Gels. Good play in the back row that time by Kanapke. And hit, another good play. That was blocked by Wendell for a point. It's 8-5, Cavaliers. And Maddie in the middle for Coldwater is a recipe for destruction. She owns the middle of that net. There's Kira Kanapke again. Diving play by Palmer to keep it alive. And Gels with an awkward swing. It is 9-5. Five. five consecutive points. Coldwater, timeout, St. Henry. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They are hiring. You can visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Miles, for the first time in this three-set match, somebody has scored five points in a row. It's the Coldwater Cavaliers. And that's why St. Henry called timeout. Checking the temperature of the team. Body language has to start yeah. being positive against her for St. Henry. And when you need a point, you go to Chloe Gales and she gets you one. First team all-conference player from a year ago, the 5'10 senior. Makes oh. it 9'6, very important point. She is a huge part of their offense, 57 kills coming into the night. Second most on the team was Follenkamp with 25, so you know the offense is at its best when Gales is dominating at the net. Whirling serves, that's it by Wendell and Madison. And right back for her team to score. It's 10-6. 5 11 senior. And we will be replaced by Abigail Schwederman, a 5 5 senior to serve. Good serve to the back line. And that gets up into the ceiling. It's 11 6. Well, it starts with how you receive it. You see Balmer off her back heel, not in a good position. Actually hit the basketball backboard, which is up, and therefore is a part of the ceiling and came right back down. And it kind of reminded me every one of my high school shots in basketball. <laughs> Etzler dumps it over, but she did it with two hands. Or with two contacts, I should say, not two hands. You need to do it with two hands. That was a consistent call, though. They've called it every single time. Well, you, know, you know how it's going to be called. Miles, years ago, they let you get away with that. And somebody went, wait a minute, you're scoring points by doing that. we got to call it. And it's been called much tighter over the last few years. Here's Gels to serve. I like the fact that it's a tighter call. I agree. Don't reward bad play. Tip to an open spot. At that point, we'll go to Molly Wendell. 11-8. Molly Wendell, 11 kills coming in tonight. One of these super sophomores on the St. Henry team, 5-10. They are going to have a huge front line 
for the next couple of years. Well, Miguel is almost an ace. Wendell's able to get it to a teammate. Rolling sets and a big hit. That one comes from Carly Busher. And it's 11-9. The Redskins are fighting their way back in it. Now, yeah, Busher. Every time she's had it in the middle of the floor set up on a quick set, she is delivered. Here comes the boom, baby, by Carly Busher. Well, he yells. And oh, he hits it out of bounds to make it 12-9. Our good friend Chris Luthold, who's did a lot of volleyball for WSU the last few years and took over the coaching job at Corey Rawson, said there's eight times you'd never want to miss a serve. And we added them up, there's like 40. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when you ever want to miss a serve. Well, he had this list, and every time, I, eight, there's eight, there's eight, there's eight. And I'd keep at writing them down, and before long, it was a whole lot more than eight. <laughs> Wish him the very best at Corey Rawson. It's 13-9 on the Charles River scoreboard. As Mia Kanapke serves. <laughs> big hit. How about Morgan Balmer putting that one away at 13-10? Oh, Morgan Balmer. Living big on that left-hand side. Says, I'm better than you, and you know it. All right, St. Henry, here's your time now. Got it back to three. Olivia Gast is our server. Spencer Etzler. What a play in the back row and save. Yeah, Whirling made a great play to keep that alive out of the net. That one's blocked. Fallencamp made great contact. The ball came back to a Cavalier and had to play it below the waist, and that's almost a dead giveaway to be at. Uh, Fallencamp is going to do nothing but get better. Only three blocks coming into the night, but she is going to be sensational moving forward. And long serve makes it 14-11 Cavaliers. Just can't get over that hump. Yeah. They get close, they get close, and then an unforced error kind of bails cold water out. So Henry was up five to four. And that serve goes long, makes it 14-12. Cavaliers put together a five-point run, and so Henry's been chasing them ever since. Lauren Tiemann. Junior. Five aces for her on the season. That's who plays that one. And who's in the net? They get whirling. Trying to play the ball out of the net or over the net, get a point. And instead, it becomes a Cavalier point at 15 12. And you're kind of unfortunate for whirling, working hard, just got too close to that line. Fallen camp hit that one. Wendell puts it over. That play was hit by Bomber. And out of the middle, Fallen camp played that one, but she hit it to Kanapke. Etzler to Busher. Oh, how about the play that time? Keep it alive by Kira Kanapke. Yeah, great reflexes. And push the ball to an open area. Ellie Fallen camp makes it 15-13. Trisha Rosenbeck has to be excited. Her team has responded well, in this third they set. Yeah, they were down 9-5 when the timeout occurs, and she's rallied them to 15-13. So easy. You're down two sets to get that adversity. Your mind wants to fold. And now it's 16-13. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. Busher. Somebody was in the net. Who was it? Bushers are going to get together. And they're going to say that it was Kanapke. It's going to negate a, a free point at the net. They had a freebie coming their way. Of course, you see our officials are mic'd now, like uh, a lot of officials are in sports. They can communicate with each other, decide who was in the net, stay consistent on the call. Wendell gets a point. Touch at the net, makes it 17-14. Wendell so tough 
to defend at the net. She can handle the ball absolutely anywhere. Has everything in her game, can go power or placement. That time gets the placement. You ever notice pro football officials, major college officials are all mic, and yet they still get together and talk? <laughs> I do well, like why, that. Why is that? Gales hits. Tipped over by Wendell. Tipped over by Whirling. Kanapke pushes to the back row, and she double contacted it at 17-15. Charles River scoreboard. Yeah, something that's been consistently called all, yep. all afternoon, all evening rather. There's a couple of things involved making contact with the ball simultaneously with both hands and the other. It cannot cross, cross, cross <laughs> quadrants. It can't go across your face. Keep it alive is Etzler and Wendell. I thought this official called a touch, and she did. Ball was touched, which means it will be a Cavalier point at 18-15. Thought one of the line judges called touch. I think one of the officials did as well. Barely, just a little bit, yeah. but that's enough. Well, you're looking for hand touch, but you can also sometimes tell by the arc of the ball changing direction. Here's Abigail Schwederman to serve. Whirling will set. And missing on the sideline is Molly Wendell. You know what we've not seen a lot of tonight? What's Attacks that? from behind the 10-foot line. We have not. Everything seems to be, for the most part, played in front of that 10-foot line. Or, for all of you more accurate people, nine meter, three meters. That ball is pushed to a kill area by Molly Wendell. 19-16. No, I like it, Wendell. Had a swing earlier in this set. Wasn't happy with it. Well, what do you do? Change things up. Go with a little placement. Well, it is 19-16 with Chloe Gells to serve. And that ball was improperly contacted. It wasn't going to go over the net anyway. 19-17 is back to two points again. The closest they've been since it was, uh, let me see, like 6-5. Uh, so got it back to within two. Serve. That's going to be an ace. Talk that one up for Gels. Now you wonder if Coldwater might want to talk things yeah. over. Things are really piling up positively for St. Henry. Got it within one. 19-18. Floyd Gels' first ace of this evening. Set. Tip. Track down by Whirling. Busher will set close. There's one from behind the 10 foot line. Diving play by Wendell. Etzler will set. Yells again from behind the 10 foot line. You oh, I know. And she gets a kill on you. Of it. Yeah, 19 all. Four consecutive Redskin points tied up. And it is time for a cold water timeout. It's 19 all in the third set. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater TV 44 and WSN, a nonprofit organization supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. Mark Shine, Miles Holiday here. Gels to serve. She's got four consecutive points. She served three of them. And she served it long coming out of the timeout. It's 2019 Cavaliers. And that's going to get the Cavalier student section up. They sense the, yeah. the, the importance of this moment. Cavaliers with a lead. Mia Kanapke will serve the setter. Wendell goes and gets that one. That set. And passing game gets a kill. Well, Mark, she was a second team Mac player a year ago. I'm going to go ahead and uh, forecast that yeah. she might be a first team player this year. I might agree with that. The problem is in this league, there's about 30 girls that deserve to be first team. Have a 1 and 1A one oh, team. Slip. They got it across. Here's the set. There's blasting game again. And that time, the kill goes to Morgan Bomber. It's 21 to 20. Cavaliers. And the Bomber has done a fantastic job on this left-hand side. A lot of St. Henry's offense goes to the left-hand side, and you see why. 
There's that moisture problem we talked about a little bit earlier. While Olivia Gass, with a couple of aces this evening, prepares to serve. Olivia is a sophomore. Good serve, and she gets another oh. ace. Her third one tonight comes in a good time and ties it at 21. D, go right back to that same spot. You see Coldwater adjusting yeah, defensively. Change serve received, didn't they? Let's see what Gas does with this one. Gets it to the libero, Schroyer. And Esler's going to just bump it over, and she gets a point out of it. A uh, little hubby wife mm. disagreement at the wrong time for St. Henry. I got it, you take it, nobody gets it. Communication so important. Oh, and it's been so good throughout most of the evening. Coldwater with a single point lead, and Olivia Broering to serve. Set. Falling camp, but it's played by Kanapke, and it goes out of bounds outside the antenna. 22 all. Boy, how impressive has Fallen Camp been yeah. in the middle of the net for St. Henry? 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Here's Lauren Tiemann to serve. And just out. That dove, I thought it was going to hit the end line. Didn't, didn't miss by much. No, it did not. But it missed. So Henry's got 22. They scored 21 in the opening two sets. But they trail by one. And touch. Yeah, I thought it was. Looking for the call. Morgan Bomber made the hit. And we're tied at 23. Absolutely huge yeah. serve in this third set coming up right here. Morgan Bomber. Good serve. Wendell hits it to a blocker. And what do we got? And Esther's going to get the captain. She gets a chance to find out what it is. Whatever the call was, I think it must have been prolonged contact. The ball was pretty lowly hit. But it is a 24-23 lead. And Coldwater takes their first timeout. This next point would be huge if you're a Redskin. Yeah, get you back in it, right? If you get to 25, 23, and you go to set four, this would be huge for them. You start getting some confidence after yes. losing four straight sets to Coldwater, finally scratch and claw and get one. Correct. But you can't think big picture right now. You just got to think about little picture. Got to get that one point that you need before you can move on. And it gives those young ladies a chance to dance across the way. Athletic director. Athletic directors wear all kinds of hats. Harry Goodman playing the music on the PA today. Talk about good ADs. He's one of them, man. People don't understand no, all the many jobs an athletic director has to have. Here's Morgan Bomber trying to serve to get her team to a fourth set. And they keep it alive. Wendell free balls it. Here's the set. And Fallen Camp puts it away. St. Henry comes back. They trailed a 1.9 to 5. They trailed 19-15. They come all the way back to take set 3, 23, or 25-23. We're headed to set 4 here at Coldwater. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're headed to set four from Coldwater High School. Coldwater won the opening two sets, 25-21, 25-21, but St. Henry takes set three at 25-23. St. Henry had a big four-point run, Miles. It was 19-15. They got it tied at 19, and then they were able to, to score just enough points to take a two-point win and head to set four. All coaches talk about how you're going to handle adversity, right? Yep. I, I would say St. Henry has to feel good Check that positive in the box. Yes, we handled adversity extremely well. Could have folded many times after losing four consecutive sets to Coldwater. Didn't do it, though. Found a way to get to a four set tonight. And once you get to that four set, 
hey, you might as well win it, right? And I'm, I'm kind of curious how this will go, uh, Miles. My, my experience with this sport tells me, you know, we've been playing for an hour and a half or there in that general area. The first 10 points of set four are often not crisply played. No, absolutely. The girls been out here yep. for a long time. There's a, a little bit of a emotional ups and downs taking place. And let's see how these two teams. Now, Coldwater's already played a two five-set matches out of their six matches they played so far. They've been through this way before. St. Henry has not. So let's kind of see how this plays out for set four here. Right. How much juice do you have left in the legs, right? Yep. Coldwater trailed Shawnee uh, two sets to none, came back and won 25-21, 25-23, and 15-11. They were down two sets to one to Crestview on Tuesday evening this week, one set four, 25-23, and closed it out 15-18, or 15-8, excuse me, and uh, that kept them undefeated 6-0, and, oh, and now they're going to serve with Morgan Blasting game to serve. Fallen Camp gets a hit. I thought that might call a yeah. double on blasting game on that one. That's blocked. Yells keeps it alive. It's popped up in the air, but it's not going to get across the net. Coldwater will have the first points of the match, of the fourth set of the match. Well, you wonder how much juice is left in the legs. Yeah. Maddie uh, Wendell says, I got a lot of it. Got the block again. Blasting game serves. And that time we get a double contact. It will be 2-0. Yeah, not really crisply played. I think that's kind of a indicative of how the four set goes sometimes. Let's see how quickly both teams get into it. And an ace. Interesting blasting game. Got a point by going directly at Bomber. What she do again? Goes right at Bomber again. Volleyball, of course, one of those sports, boy, you better be individually mentally tough because the ball is going to find you. Morgan blasts the game. Two aces now tonight, 12 on the season, and that one is going to be in the net. Makes it 3-1. A good start for Coldwater, and that will allow Lauren Tiemann to enter to do service action for Trisha Rosenbeck's team. plays that one. This will be Wendell, and Wendell will get a point. She goes through the blocker to make it 4-1. The nice thing about Maddie Wendell is doesn't matter which side, right? She can yeah. attack it from the outside on the left or right. Loves the middle as well. Some players are just a one side only feeling good, not her. Feels good everywhere. Spencer Etzler got it in the corner. She gets an ace. It's 5-1. That is her third ace of the evening, sixth for the Cavaliers. Do you see the movement on that one? That was like a knuckler, just dropped. There's Etzler again. Float serve this time. Wendell, uh, Whirling hit it over. And Wendell got just enough of it to get it over the net. Pusher sets. And that one did not get over the net. Six out of the first seven opening points will go the way of Coldwater, which will allow Brianna Mangin to enter the game. She wears number eight for St. Henry. Uh, St. Henry in the danger zone right now. Coldwater responded extremely well to open this fourth set. That's blocked at the net. Wendell's hit was blocked at the net. Well, you can have to just hit it over. That one's blocked, and Busher tries to get to it and can't. I think that block went to Wendell, if I look to me, and we'll see how that one's scored later on, but it is 7-1. Well, you heard about Wendell and her ability to dominate the net. Since the second set, she has definitely done a great job. Another float serve's gonna be long on the overpass. <laughs> Kira Kanapke's eyes lit up. Like, like a, uh, here comes the beach ball, and she <laughs> right. whacked into the net. He, this one she would like to have back at 7-2. Yeah, you saw her eyes light yeah. up, didn't you? <laughs> here comes the lollipop. I get a chance to play, and wasn't successful at it after a really good evening she's had tonight. She's going to get a chance right here. And that ball is blocked by Gels, 7-3. Gels did a great job putting the thumbs together. Getting the fingertips going towards the net. Return to center. Mark that one.
Farmer served that one. This is Wendell. Diving play, and they keep it alive. And that time, Mia Kanafke is unable to hit it across the net. Kind of an awkward hit from the right side. A shame for Coldwater, because Rachel Schroyer, great job in the back yeah. row, all by herself, was able to get it. That's why coaches like those left-handed setters. There's Wendell. It's it to Busher. And Busher can't put it to a teammate. Makes it 8-4. And you saw the grimace on Busher's face as soon as she yeah. got underneath it. Just couldn't handle it the way she wanted. They were about out of alignment. She had to do some serious moving to get where she belongs. Did so. Kara Kanapke serves. And Gels. That's who made a diving attempt for it. Couldn't keep it in play. It's 8-5. It's just like being at the Shine Family Reunion playing in the backyard right there. Great pass, set Mark up, and a huge kill. One, two, three right there. Fantastic work. Family Reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Wendell. Boy, what a hit that time. It's 9-5. If you don't get in front yeah. of Wendell, she is going to make you pay. Putting some serious pace on that one. One of my volleyball career, Diana Kramer let me spike last year, and she set me oh. three games. They were, they were, oh, and it rolls over for an ace. Abigail Schwederman gets one to fall for her. It's doubled up at 10-5. Yeah, she said, come on, hit a few balls with me. And I did, and she said, your approach is pretty good, after I whiffed on the first one. <laughs> but I did get the second one in. That one goes long. Some of the highlights of your of your broadcasting career are not actually things you say. It's true, isn't it? And I, I can't wait to see you play in the well, Senior Olympics coming well, up. When Diana Kramer, who's pretty successful at New Bremen, <laughs> says you did something right, that makes you kind of happy. It's 10-6. And the serve goes into the net, makes it 11-6. Here in set number four. And Mia Kanapke will go back to serve. Whirling sets, and that ball is put away by Molly Wendell. Molly's kind of a quiet, steady player, isn't she? But when she gets an opportunity, she does some good stuff. Very efficient, though, right? Yeah, when when it, she gets it. set up, she's not going to sky over top the net, but she's going to deliver placement. Here's, here's Chloe Gells, the senior. Spencer Etzler tips it to an open area and missed. 11-8. Now, Metzler's going to argue that the ball was tipped. Yeah. Chloe Gells is a senior, and I saw you put this word venerable on Facebook. <laughs> is she venerable, or uh, what, what does that mean? <laughs> and I know she served it long. Makes it 12-8. Well, that's a different kind of senior, Mark. Oh. She's, so she's not... The venerable Mark Shine. Well, I thought you meant vulnerable. That's what I thought you misspelled <laughs> it, and that would have been a lot more accurate. Here's... Well, Service. It is just likely. I'm not a good speller. In fact, uh, the word failure got me in my second grade spelling bee. You, you failed on failure? Yep. Yeah. This is going to be Spencer Etzler. She winds up and hits it in this time. 13-8. And we're going to get the first time out of set number four. That will go to Coach Rosenbeck. It's 13-8. On the Charles River scoreboard, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 and WSN are non-profit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a day no donation in any size. It's a way to say thank you for the sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. Well, it's a shame we didn't get on camera, Mark, but they're playing the cha-cha slide here in between points, and our cameraman hot dog, Jacob O'Neill, he, he went down there, and he was cha-cha -cha sliding. Yeah, well, good for him. Here's St. Henry after the timeout. Want to get back in this one. That was tipped at the net. was not four contacts. Blasting game will set. Etzler, and that Etzler hits the ball through a blocker to make it 14-8. We were talking uh, during the break uh, how Etzler just always under control, right? Yep. 
Very composed, never panicked. Knows where to go with the ball all the time. Smart player. This serve will be by Broering. Wendell plays that in the back row. And then blasting again, gets another point. So Henry seems to be a bit on their heels, don't you think? Just kind of reacting a little bit late to three things. You just wonder how much gas yep. is left in the tank, right? He spent a lot of energy in that third set to get it to four. They have played consistently well throughout the night. That one is blocked with the net on the kill attempt. Free balled over. Kanapke sets in the middle, and Etzler hits that one to an open area. Five consecutive points now have gone the way of the Cavaliers, and they've taken an eight-point lead. Another point for the efficient one. Spencer Etzler delivers again for Coldwater. They've had runs of three, four, and now five in this set. Wisher to Whirling. And finally, they get one to the middle of the floor by Car Carly Busher. 16-9. Here's Rhea Busher to serve. Gets it to her counterpart, Schroyer. Kanapke has to go get it, and that's where three balls it. And wind up, and a big kill attempt by Morgan Bomber. Was it wide? It was. Wasn't sure whether somebody got in there and touched it or not. Hardest hit ball of the night for Bomber. Just a little bit too wide, however. 17-9. That time she gets it through a blocker. Took a little bit off it, perhaps, and got a point for it. 17-10. Now, sometimes you go with hot sauce, other times you go with ranch dressing. Cool things off a little bit. Balmer likes to go with a little ranch dressing instead of some hot sauce. Here's Lauren Tiemann. Junior serves. Etzler winds up, hits it to the back row. Whirling sets up, falling camp, and gets a kill out of it. 17-11. And a really good effort by Napke to try to get that back up in the air. Team in to serve again. Wendell hits it to Busher. Whirling dumps it over and gets a point for her effort. Catches him by surprise. How about Whirling? The old peekaboo. I see you hovering at the net. I'm going to hit it where you're not. She had four kills in their opening four matches. He's got one right there at a pretty good time. It's 17-12. And that will be an ace. Chalk it up to Lauren Tiemann. She had five before tonight, and that will be her sixth of the season. It is 17-13, and we're going to get another timeout. This one by the Cavaliers. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater High School, where our scoreboard is brought to you tonight by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. You can visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Four consecutive points have now gone the way of the St. Henry Redskins. The Coach Rosenbeck team clawing their way back into it, and Coach Etzler takes a timeout. Her first, each team has used a timeout in set four. Yeah, every, every time you think they're going to fold, they just find a way to bounce back in it. Here's Tiemann to serve. Again, just got off an ace a moment ago. To Wendell in the middle, here's Block. That was Bomber there, I think. That was Bomber who's celebrating like she got the big block. Man, did she ever? Who and her and Follenkamp in the middle. Bomber gets it done. Bomber construction building walls since 2023. Five consecutive points. That's the most they have scored on any possession tonight in any of the four sets. And that's who just tips the ball to an open area and breaks the string, makes it 18-14. Well, anytime you, you need some momentum to stop, give it to the efficient one, right? Etzler, always in the right spot. And she gets to serve. She has three aces this evening, including one in this set. And that sort of just ate up Vollmer. 
Dumped over. Busher makes the play, and they keep it alive or no? Yep, double contact. 19-14. Yeah, you wondered as soon as you saw it, right, if yeah. it was going to get called. Officials called it. Good reflexes by St. Henry. Just couldn't control it. As good as Mac Volleyball is, the officiating is as well. Whirling will set. Esther just pushed it over. This is Follenkamp in the middle, and Ellie gets a point, 19-15. The okay, Bomber will serve this one, just a 5-6 sophomore. Skims the top of the net. Nelson Wendell. Whirling will set. Gels. And Gels pounds one down. It's 19-16. There's that spring in the step that Gels had in the first set. Kind of disappeared a little bit, but now it's back. Got some adrenaline going again. She can jump off the floor with the best of them. Kanapke will set Wendell. Has to just tip it across. And Fullenkamp pushes that one over. Wendell. Had to get her feet set. Gels again. Block. How about Madison Wendell going up and blocking that one to make it 2016? Every time you need a big block at the net, Wendell just seems to deliver. Uncanny her ability to time that jump. And Kiara Kanapke will serve. Chloe Gels. Did she get it in? She did not miss the back edge. It's 21-16. Going for that corner was close, and Chris Rosenbeck is going to take her second timeout, trailing by five. And they're going to have to figure out a way to score some points quickly and break, break this momentum. They've had a five-point run to take it from 17-9 to 17-14, and Coldwater's kind of righted the ship since that particular time and got it back to 21-16. Now you have to win this next point, though, if you're St. Henry. You would think. Yeah. yeah. If they're going to come back and get this, they can't let it get to 22 for Coldwater. 22-16, oh, that is Miles, really tough. Miles, Miles, talk loudly. This is one of my all-time hate songs. You don't, you're don't. you not a big fan I, of I, Neil Diamond? I do not Reaching like, out, uh, touching don't, me, don't touching do you? That, don't do that. There, there are so many uh, ADs and whatever and in gyms that we go to who know how much I dislike Sweet Caroline <laughs> that they play it intentionally when they see me walk I, in. I'll tell you what, Mark. Jacob's singing it over I here. I will tell every AD to oh stop my. playing that if you help me out with ACDC. Oh, all right? you're not an ACDC guy? Oh, no. Everywhere you go, there's four ACDC Thunder, songs, Thunder right? Struck. No. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Cold water up by five. St. Henry trying to hang in this one. Take it to set five. Set. And there you go. Put the ball in Ellie Fuller comes hands and better get you a point. Make it 21-17. The best offense of the night for St. Henry has been in the middle of the floor. Fallen camp has been tremendous all night long. Kanapke sets. Wendell hits. Gells again. Esther was able to save it. Kanapke keeps it alive, and they free ball it over. Gels. Esther again keeps it alive. And they push it to the middle of the floor, and Carly Busher gets a point. Big rally point that time for St. Henry. Now how about all those big swings being yeah. returned, but it just takes a little push to finally find some wood for St. Henry. 21-18. They've scored two coming out of the timeout. We're going to go to Madison Wendell again, and she gets a point, 22-18. Boy, we have been blessed to watch two incredible setters at time. Absolutely. Napke running away from the net, a pass set on point for a huge point. Here's Abigail Schwederman, who has an ace this evening to serve. Chloe Gells winds up and gets blocked. Willing will set again from the back rows a hit. Schroeder plays that one. And they just keep it alive. Willing again sets. And that was blocked at the net by Morgan Blassie Game. 
It's 23-18 Cavs. Man, how about the little flex right there by Blassen mm. game after the block at the net. Here's Schwederman to serve again. Gels hits it to Exler, makes another dig. And that ball was mishit that time by Mia Kanafke. You know what, you're a setter, you handle the ball virtually every possession, you make one error on the evening, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. And the fact that she just took her eyes off it a little yeah. bit because she knew exactly where she was going. And now we're getting some discussion with Coach Rosenbeck. Try to team trails by four. Try to get team in into the game, but got it too late. Official yeah. said no. Lydia Whirling serves. Flash the game out of the middle. Played by Bomber. He tipped it to an open area. Diving attempt by Esther, but she can't keep it alive. It's 23 20. Uh, St. Henry Faithful making noise. They're not going easily, are they? Well, Coldwater is going to take their final time out. We're going to keep this one right here. More volleyball coming up for you this weekend on WOSN as we're going to be up at Ottawa Glandorf, and the Titans will be playing Max School. They will be playing the uh, uh, Mary Local Flyers on Saturday. That will be a really nice non-conference matchup that you will see on Sunday evening at 5 p.m. on WSM. And after that on Sunday evening will be soccer. That will be Bluffton versus Otterville. That will air at 7 p.m. You talked about your football game. That airs uh, Pandora Jabot at Lipsic. Airs at 9 on WTLW on Saturday night. Right before that, Salina at Van Wert. Talk about some guys who are going to score some points. It's funny how yeah. Van Wert loses her quarterback Loses their offensive coordinator to Crespi, and it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, Parker plays quarterback. 200 yards rushing, nine TDs last week. Yeah. He's fantastic. Well, right now, we've got St. Henry trying to overcome a three-point deficit in set four and set it to set five. This is going to be set to blasting game. She pushes the ball, but played by Bomber. Gels will get a hit. It's blocked. Bomber gets another play. Gels again. This is Etzler. And dumped over by Kanapke. Whirling sets again. Boy, a lucky play that time by Busher to get to that one. Good for her. Last game has to tip. Busher will set Gels. What a point this is turning out to be. Kanapke's shot is blocked, but played by Flashing game. Esther free balls it over. And a big hit by Carly Busher. What a point that was. Henry keeps it alive, 23-21. One of the best rallies of yes. the night. Carly delivers for St. Henry, now within two. What a fight we got going on here in set four. It might have started slow, but this set's really picked up and it serves long. 24-21. And back to serve will Mia, be Mia Kanapke in his set point match point for Cole Water. Mia Kanapke serves to Busher. Gels. Blasting game out of the middle, and she put it away. Morgan blasting game puts it away, and for the third time in four sets, Coldwater takes a 25-21 victory, and Miles, they take the match three sets to one. Now, what a fitting end to this match, Mark. Blasting game absolutely fantastic all night long. Owning everything past two or delivers yet another kill. It's going to look like it's easy at 3 1, on the, yeah. but this yeah, was, was a dogfight throughout. St. Henry, great job, but working hard all night long. And of course, Coldwater staying true now 7 0. Oh. Trisha Rosenbeck, uh, Redskins, will drop the 3 and 2 on the season. 0 oh, 1 in MAC play. The Cavaliers will go to 7 0. Oh. They will be 1 0 oh in MAC volleyball action. We want to thank the athletic director. That would be Eric Goodwin. To help get us all set up this evening. Jacob O'Neill did our camera work, sound work, a little bit of everything tonight, including what you call it, think cha cha slide. Yeah, yeah, the cha cha slide. Thing he he did. was yep. fantastic in it. And Nick Freyling will take this back at the station and edit it all together. We thank you for watching Coldwater in four sets over St. Henry. Miles is going to try to get down the floor and get an interview before we wrap this one up. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.
Join us now, Morgan Blasting game. Unbelievable effort. This was a tough match when it, it, every single set was really tight. How were you guys able to get the win here? I think it was everyone. Everyone on the bench, the coaches, everyone. Every time out, everyone was in it, and everyone just really wanted that victory. And I think our grit and our toughness really just helped us, and everyone was in it as a team, and we trusted each other throughout everything. One thing that we noticed, every time you had a big kill at the net, you would turn around and you'd be fired up and you'd say something to your teammates. What are some of the things that you're telling them? Um, I, was, I always just go, let's go. <laughs> I just give them like that hype and I feel like it really helps us. That's like one of my big things. I just like, I like type everyone up. That's what I do. You guys moved to 7-0, more importantly 1-0 in the league. What's it going to take for you guys to win such a tough MAC conference? Everyone, everyone in it. Coaches people on the court, on the benches, our managers, everyone here. Your student section was big oh, too. Yes. This place was packed. The energy in this building was amazing. How important is it to have such a student body and the fans behind you? It's so much fun to play with. All of that energy is focused towards us and everyone is just in it. Everyone's in it, everyone here, but you really have to stay focused on the court with everyone here. Well, congratulations, Morgan. Unbelievable match. You guys keep it rolling, all right? Thank you. All right. Uh, folks, thanks for watching this. This was a great battle. Coldwater moves on to 7-0. You've been watching WOSN.